James Cummy testifies at Trey Gowdy, because 2016 won't f asterisk king die. Let's save some time with this executive summary of the House Judiciary and Override Eight Committee's 11th interview of James Cummy on Friday. Medioka GOP lawyer, leading question based on classified information taken out of context. Super lawyer Cummy, sorry, can't answer that. MGL, but what if I phrase it as a thinly veiled hypothetical? SC, sorry. Can you repeat the question? MGL, but what? SC, psych. Just kidding. Still no. Thanks for reading your wonket, don't forget to tip your server. What, you want more? Okay okay. Everybody hates Gates. Matt Gates kicked off the party by insisting that he hadn't been consulted when Cummy and Chairman Bob Goodlatt agreed that the transcript of the hearing would be made public after 24 hours and everyone would wait until the end of the day to go on television and call each other a damn dirty liar. What about Matt's freeze peach? I wanted to state that I was not a party to any such agreement and don't consider myself bound by it. I also don't know of any provision in the Constitution, the rules of the House, or any federal law that would prohibit members of the committee from engaging in free speech, debate, and opining at any time. Then reps. Trey Gowdy, Goodlatte and Jerry Nadler took turns kicking Matt Gaetz in the dick. And they say bipartisanship is dead. Trey Gowdy, still massive tool. Is Trey Gowdy noping out of Congress so he can go stalk Hillary Clinton in Chappaqua with that nutbag Perro? That guy spends more time thinking about Hillary Clinton than Hillary Clinton does. He started off by referring to the But Her Emails episode as a violation of the Espionage Act. To which Cummy replied, Really, dude? Cummy, the reason I'm hesitating, Mr. Gowdy is I've never applied the label of Espionage Act investigation. It was an investigation into the mishandling of classified information. I don't mean to quibble, but that's how I thought of it and talked about it. Then it was time for Gowdy to do his impression of Johnny Cochran's Chewbacca defense, because Peter Stotok once said, Hillary should win 100 million to zero. Gowdy in the course of human history, has anyone won an election 100 million to zero, to your knowledge? Cummy, in the United States. Gowdy, anywhere. Cummy, I don't mean to be facetious. I can't speak to Stalin's re-election or Mao Tse Tung re-election campaigns. In. Gowdy, 100 million to zero is a lot. Cummy, sure. I'm not trying to be facetious, but I remember as a student the vote in Soviet Russia was 99.9% .9 to. Gaudi, we are going to get to Russia in a little bit. We'll get to Russia in a little bit. Cummy, so in the I can answer your question, Mr. Gaudi. In the United States, I'm not aware of any such lopsided vote. Why would a Wookiee want to?